I'm Peter Jones and this month at County Deer Stalking we're at the historic West London Shooting School where with my colleague James Mott we're going to be showing you how to zero your rifle. An accurately zeroed rifle is essential if you want to hit what you're aiming at. Here's how to properly zero a rifle from scratch with a newly fitted scope in just six steps. Step 1. Set up a target at 100 yards. You'll need to use a large piece of paper or card as the bullet may be some way off centre and you want to see where it lands. It's best to use a target which is marked in 1 inch or 25mm divisions which will aid our adjustments later. Step 2. Check all rifle components. In particular, make sure the scope fittings are secure. If using a moderator, make sure it is screwed on properly. Lastly, make sure the barrel is clean. A bore snake is quick and easy and available from most gun shops. Step 3. Align the scope with the barrel. If a gunsmith has fitted the scope for you, he will have used a collimator and done the job for you. If you have fitted the scope yourself, you'll need to use the old-fashioned method of removing the bolt and sighting down the bore. Set up a stable rest for the gun, sight down the bore and position the rifle so you are looking down the bore onto the paper target. Now, without touching the gun, look through the scope and adjust the crosshairs onto the centre of the target. Set your scope to your selected magnification. This will usually be around 6 to 10 power. Step 4. Now fire your first shot, which should land somewhere on the target. Step 5. Establish how far you are out from zero. Using the high power Swarovski spotting scope, I can see that James is approximately 4 inches high and 2 inches to the left. If you don't have use of a spotting scope, you'll need to walk up to the target to get an accurate measurement. Now we can adjust our windage and elevation settings, and hopefully we're somewhere near our zero. Remember, the settings of each make of scope may vary, so be sure to check before adjusting. Okay, so we tried the second shot then, Motti, when you're ready. Step six, now fire your second shot. Firing. It should be very close to the zero, which we are. Fire another three shots in succession. and walk up to the target and determine your mean point of impact. Okay, so Motti, well done. I can see this is your first shot before we've done the zero. That's, That's right. just from the bore sighting. Yep. And then with your next shots, you've placed them in a nice tidy little group here, which is absolutely bang on. Mm, no, now. You know, that, that, that's an ideal situation here where we're using the lead sled and it's absolutely rigid and mm, stable. Yeah, it's a very stable base, it's brilliant. Now yeah. for those of us who haven't got a lead sled, we may not have been so precise. We may have found that our group was, say, slightly off to the side. What would we do then? Um, well, basically we'd want to calculate our, um, you know, the, the mean point uh, between the bullets, which uh, in this case um, you know, we just draw a line and we want to take the, the centre line. Okay. Um, so obviously in this scenario, if it's out here, then we can accurately uh, measure. Yeah. Um, uh, using an accurate scope, then um, we just need to check that... Let me uh, take your pen for a minute. Yep. So what you say our next shots were here, here and here. Yep. What would we do then? 
Right, well, what we'd want to do is find uh, the centre point of our shots mm -hmm. so we can uh, draw a line through at an angle yeah. um, and then <clears throat> obviously find our, our central point, yeah. uh, which is essentially, uh, these are one inch lines, uh, which is very useful for, um, sure. a useful aid for helping when you're zeroing. Uh, so we know that we're half an inch across, so we're one and a half inches across. Okay. Uh, and this line is one inches high, okay. uh, one inch high even. So uh, effectively all we need to do then is adjust our crosshairs one and a half inches to the right and one inch down. That's right, and we should be spot on. And you, you know, and if we've got an accurate uh, rifle scope, you know, as long as we look at the uh, increments uh, that are um, written on the side of the uh, scope dials, uh, you know, it should be spot on. Great. That's it for this month. If you're interested in firearms training, County Deer Stalking is able to offer a whole host of useful courses and training. Simply email info at countydeerstalking.co.uk or call 01403 790 244. Finally, our huge thanks go to the West London Shooting School for their assistance with this film.